hello. It's a lovely cold day. Take out the Speedmaster. Take him out for a long, long time. Regardless of the salt on the road, we ran a nice gentle little ride down to the local station, check out the tire pressures. I pump them up to make sure that they're running at the right ones. So what can I say? Petrol stations, the one petrol station which I went to go change my uh, or check my tyre pressure, they're starting to charge. I mean, look, uh, 10p, 15p, 20p, whatever, not from, but these are upwards of like a quid to put, pump in some air and check. I mean, that's it, compressor. So, I'm buying a compressor. I'm gonna go home and buy a compressor. Buy a compressor for quite a while. One that uh, toolkit off of Apex 66. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it's going to be there, isn't it? Maybe make some uh, brackets or something you put brackets on. But yeah. Nah, mate, joking. It's got an impact socket wrench as well which is pretty cool air blowers obviously after you take your car your bike out on a fucking horrible salty road it's gonna need a deep clean when you clean it in this type of weather it doesn't dry that easy so yeah an air compressor way forward right just trying to justify the fact that we're spending money on a on an air compressor which you know it will be useful but A little bit too much money in the last recent, you know, couple of months. The scrambler and uh, insurance and stuff like that. So, uh, but my other main gripe that's going on right now is I, uh, I bought a Lightlock Moto Four um, quite a while back now. It was Jesus, probably November time, beginning of November. Uh, dispatch said it was going to be mid-December this mid-December came and went past um, you know I don't push much nowadays everything seems to be a delay or some sort of short start I understand but you know so yeah I contacted them not that long back and they uh, sent an email back saying that you know they're uh, getting the kickstarters sent out and this is like a month back now so uh, and they said the next few weeks you'll be receiving yours and it's coming up to the end of january now and uh still no email no nothing regarding it to be honest so it's a bit naughty i mean just send an email that bloody hell delay another couple of weeks yeah sure no no. Yeah, I've forked out like 170 quid or something on this on this lock, and it sucks when you spend that amount of money and you don't have it in your hands. You know, you you, you feel like you've been cheated, even though you know that they're all working working the cogs behind the clock. You know, so it's kind of patience is a virtue, but you know. It does take its toll sometimes. Yeah, I took the speeder out, took Master out today. It's, uh, it's been sat there for quite a while. It took a bit of a time to kick over. I say kick over, you know. I went to go check the tyre pressures, as I said. It seems to be fine anyway, yeah. 
suppose to try to find somewhere else but it doesn't charge you bloody price of a coffee to check your tyre pressures.
them riding, you forget how long you've been riding for. And that's the beautiful thing about the cruises. You're sat there and you just... As much as this weather isn't really that amazing right now, but you're taking it all in and... You know, enjoying it. Mess Guys on a moped there, without no face coverings and open, open face helmet. How bloody cold are you? I mean, I'm cold and I've got my bloody, what they call, snoots and neck warmers, whatever, and full face lid, and I'm still getting a bit of nastiness on my face. How the hell can you go like that? Jesus Christ. There's actually pretty interesting information about how, uh, how obviously the speed you're riding on the motorcycle compared to the air, air, air temperature and uh, how much is actually hitting the face. And, God damn it, guys, man. Frost fires are a real thing. Creeps up on you. The amount of times I was ignorant in the past and went out and saw the store and uh, didn't even think about it. Came came off the bike, to be honest. Like, got off the bike and uh, couldn't speak. Couldn't move my hands. Can't move your hands, can't operate the motorcycle. Really, really, really hungry. Boy, oh boy, do I miss my heated grips. Tempted to get some of this, but this isn't designed to come out in this weather. I was defiant before in the past by saying that they are, and to be honest, they are more than capable. But genuinely, once you've had heated grips, Jesus Christ, you do not want to go back. Specifically in this type of weather. Yeah, so thanks, thanks very, very much for watching. Commenting and liking the video and the support. It's, uh, it's a little bit of fun I like doing and it gets traction and I uh, love that. Bikes out today, Jesus. Ooh. Where is the time? Considering how far I've driven, how fucking clean it is. Shocked. You're right. <laughs>